So this series is about BGP origin validation. Uh, origin validation was mentioned previously and elsewhere in the series about um, BGP best practices. And it is one of the MANOS principles that was discussed elsewhere in this series as well. So let's have a look at what BGP origin validation is and what it means. How do we know that an autonomous system is permitted to originate the prefix it is originating? Is it just implicit trust? Is it because the Internet Routing Registry says that we can? In fact, the Internet Routing Registry, as we saw earlier, only documents routing policy. And it also has a large amount of outdated and incorrect information. So there must be something else available that lets us validate the BGP route announcements. And this is called route origin authorization. RPKI is the resource public key infrastructure, and that's the certificate infrastructure for origin and potentially in the future for path validation. We need to be able to authoritatively prove who owns an IP address prefix and which autonomous system or autonomous systems may announce it. Prefix ownership follows the allocation hierarchy through IANA, the regional registries, the internet service providers, and so on. We saw that elsewhere in the introductory part of this series. Origin validation uses the RPKI to detect and prevent misoriginations of someone else's prefixes. And work started on this around early 2012. AS path validation is future work. And the idea here is to prevent attacks on BGP somewhere along the AS path. But first, we're going to work on origin of validation. Having origin validation deployed allows us to do the next phases to secure the routing system. The idea behind origin validation is to prevent the well-known YouTube accident from a few years ago and many other worse incidents and more recent incidents that have affected the modern internet. Origin validation will also prevent most accidental announcements, where network operators have accidentally announced incorrect prefixes, usually due to mistyping address space or mistyping what's listed in BGP filters. Origin validation will not prevent malicious path attacks. That's coming. And that will require something known as path validation and locking the data plane to the control plane. This is really the third step, what is known as, as BGPSEC. 